Hi everyone! Today, one of the characters is going to be taking a hit, while I'll be showing you how to animate a reaction to a punch using Ragdoll. Here, I already have a character and a punch animation. I have a rigged character in a separate scene, and I'll be moving them to the current scene. Go to File, Import, Import Scene to Current. When using Ragdoll, please make sure that both characters' rigs are up to date. A little crowded, but now we have both characters in the scene. The second character was automatically added to the tracks. I used quick rigging for both characters, that's why they currently have the same name in tracks. I'm right-clicking on the name to change it for convenience. I only had two keys in the second scene, but I actually don't even need the second one right now. I'm currently moving the second character to make them face the first one, and I'm adjusting their position in the process. If the pose keeps resetting, make sure you're in the keyframe. And just like that, our scene is set. I have two characters, one of them is animated already, and another one is not. I want the second character to be in the ragdoll mode for the punch. To do this, first, I select the scene a few moments before the contact. Here, I'm adding the key for the second character. I also need the second key at the end of the animation. As you can see, I'm also adding another key further away. This is done in case the ragdoll animation needs more frames. Now, I'm selecting all the frames for the second character, starting from this moment right before the punch. Now, go to Physics Settings and enable Work on Interval. Enable Ragdoll. Now, before we can activate physics, we need to select the center of mass for the second character. This way, physics will be activated for the second character only. Here, you can also disable ghost offset for your convenience. Our character is not moving after the punch, which means it makes perfect sense for me to delete the third key. Once you're happy with the animation, you can snap it to the character. But before I do this, I will add interpolation frames since I don't have anything in between the two keyframes. I'm choosing fixed interpolation for this purpose. Now we're ready to snap to physics. Now you can see that the second character is reacting to the first character's punch. Looks painful. This is how you can use this trick in your animations. Thanks for watching.